In thinking about fascia, we were mostly at first thinking about the fibrous parts of fascia, the collagen, the elastin, reticulin, the hydrophobic or water-repelling fibers in the system. But if you think of what's between the sinews, it is very much like this cornstarch oobleck. It's a non-Newtonian fluid with very interesting properties. So when it's at rest like this, it is a fluid. But if you shake it, uh, if you shake it, in this case, at 120 times a second, and then you look at what happens, waves develop within it, standing waves, waves that you can recognize, waves of shape, such as you have in your own body. And so a shaken, uh, gooey, snotty stuff uh, acts differently. You see these standing waves, but they're also able to change depending on how fast it's vibrating. Now, when you have a vibrating system like this and you perturb it, this little jet of air that they're putting in there to perturb it could be an injury, could be your treatment, any kind of perturbation of the system. But when the system is vibrating like this, you can see that these perturbations sometimes last. Even though that's a fluid, boom, it's a fluid, you can make the perturbation in it, but because it's vibrating, that perturbation is going to settle somewhere as a pattern. These are patterns set into the body, and those patterns set into not just the muscles, not just the nerves, but into the fascia itself, into the very context of your body, the stuff that surrounds the cells. Very interesting thing. It also uh, can have a polar kind of bit where you can see this is going from one bit to two bits, one bit to two bit, and that's not happening because of the nervous system or anything. That's just a property of this complex fractal going from one state to the other. And you all know clients who've had, uh, it's either a low back pain or a shoulder pain, a low back pain or a shoulder pain, it goes back and forth. And that's the kind of thing you're seeing here. But now, what if you make a perturbation in somebody who is wound for sound? This one's going a lot faster than the last one. You make the same treatment or they have the same injury, but instead of getting the same reaction from the body, you're going to get this reaction that starts involving the whole body, a propagation of the perturbation that you put in there until it involves the whole system. You have seen this if you've been working on people with any kind of autoimmune um, problem where they are kind of eating themselves, very small um, interventions in the treatment can result in very large <laughs> effects that you didn't count on having. This is very important when you're working with very stressed people to understand that you're not going to get the same effect. And it is in the fascia itself.